Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron, where we may have hit a small snag in our conquest. That snag, of course, is the strike crisis that we are currently in. Hopefully, our attempts to address it will work this time. Uh, I'm not sure what we're currently working on or how long it... Actually, I know what we're working on, but I'm not sure how long it'll take at this point. So, we'll see. That will be exciting to be sure. We have a supply issue over in this region, and of course that is to be expected. We're going to continue fighting them for now. But this supply issue over here will only be alleviated by constructing infrastructure in this region. And of course we can't do that right now because of the strike crisis. Yes, I'm aware that we have 30 days left on that. We've already begun work on whatever it was that, that we had as an option for that. So hopefully it'll succeed and we just won't have to deal with it. That'll be ideal. Well, we did deal with it. And we lost a lot of political power doing it. It failed the first time. Hopefully it succeeds the second time. Because we just had enough time to deal with that. But we don't want widespread strikes if we can help it. That will definitely hurt tremendously if we have widespread strikes. That said, we're also working on getting our political power back up, so that should, in theory, go okay. And we should be able to push through here eventually, but it's going to be pretty slow and bloody until we can widen the front up here again. That said, if we had the political power, I would be, right now, I, I would be justifying on Quiche and Pueblo. Those are definitely ones that I want to be justifying on. Also, maybe Tarasco. Yeah, I would be justifying on them as well. Of course, we're currently justifying on Santiago over here, and they will fall pretty quickly. Hopefully, we get this strike crisis dealt with. Because this is definitely annoying, having these strikes ongoing. There's no doubt about that. I mean, we could do improved worker conditions, but uh, I would prefer not to. Although that would bump up our stability. That might not be the worst thing, but we need the political power for a lot of different things right now. So I think we're going to hold off on that and keep our political power. And hope that the strikes get taken care of. I'm not sure exactly how long it is until our fix for them is in. But if I recall, it was pretty down to the wire. So it'll probably be pretty close to that 14 days. Hopefully we don't fail this time. Of course, it's entirely my fault for not taking action on it faster. But we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening. Even if we have widespread strikes, I don't think that'll stop us for too long. And yeah, we have no national focus. That's by design. Okay. No more strikes. That's huge. That's absolutely huge. Moving quickly, Military High Command mobilized a number of training units for service and formed ad hoc groups of soldiers on leave. Marching these formations past the gates of the factories had the desired effect, as most strikers did not want to force a confrontation with potentially deadly consequences. The few that did try to persuade the soldiers to make common cause found their words having little effect as soldiers asked why the workers in the cozy rear should be allowed to let down the fighting men on the front. Why indeed. Okay, so no more strikes. That is fantastic. And then that means, of course, that we are constructing infrastructure. That is very, very, very huge. How long on our justification on Santiago? Not much longer is the answer, except right because it's paused because of lack of political power. Yeah, that's a thing. Does that mean that we can queue up justifying over here? No, we can't. Okay. Because I'd like to have that at least getting started, if at all possible, but unfortunately, that is not possible. So we have a lot of infrastructure under construction over here, and that should slowly boost up our total... 
I'm just wondering why these guys have a limit of 30 divisions. Is it because of their skill level, perhaps? This guy's skill 6, maybe it's a trait. Supply consumption reduction. Organizer, blah blah blah. General max army size. Okay, it's a metal he's got. Fantastic. Okay, well, we're not going to put anything more in there right now because we already have a supply issue in that area. But that is definitely good to know that that is a possibility. Okay. So we're almost out of political power debt. That's very good. And of course, in the meantime, supplies are flowing, just not as quickly as I'd like to see. Now, they only support supply of like 15, 16 in this area. Oh my. So we should have no real problem pushing in. Our main issue right now is that we are suffering from a lack of organization. I'm okay with this for now. I think our biggest thing that we need to do is boost up our supply in the region, which of course we are already doing with our construction of infrastructure. But I'm okay with keeping the pressure on these guys, absolutely. I do want to begin justification over here relatively soon, but I want to see... Are we currently draining justification over here, or political power on this justification? No, we're not. Okay, so this is progressing again. That's wonderful to see. And then if we wanted to justify on these guys, that would cost 34 political power. Okay. Noted. Would it be the same on Pueblo? Let's see here. 31. Yeah, pretty much the same. Noted. So in order to justify on all of these guys over here, we'll need about a total of 120 political power. Now that's not too bad, really. We'll get that relatively quickly. As long as we don't have additional strikes, I suppose. But we're mostly just waiting on these infrastructure constructions right now. Now, none of these are in this general vicinity, so we're not prioritizing those. That's completely fine. I'm also not too concerned about these naval bases over here. We've got a good supply chain going on over here right now. I feel like we don't necessarily need more. Oh, hello. It looks like we're starting to actually make progress over here. That is fantastic. The question I have, of course, is... Where does this supply zone end? Is it right here? If we push up into here, is our supply going to be really choked? I suspect it will. I mean, I always thought that going up through Panama was going to be complicated. And we may want to land behind their lines and try to cut off their supplies. Like... Okay, so there was an atomic bomb... And who actually deployed this? It was deployed what? In Tibet? Ming is trying to annex them. Okay. Well, Free India is going to have a problem with that. I can tell you that. We've got 24 nukes right now. I don't know how many Ming has, but Ming did indeed drop a nuclear bomb. So that's the thing. Okay, we are now questioning Chilean sovereignty, as well we should. Fantastic. Now, of course, we... Yeah. Yeah, this is the thing. We're questioning their sovereignty. We should, of course, be saving up our political power right now. Because we need a lot. We need to deal with our subjects... And we need to be justifying on a few more locations over here. Of course, once we actually get a front with Chickasaw, things are going to be pretty good for us. Currently up to 146 supply in this region. That is huge. Oh, hello. I apologize. The phone is currently ringing. Let's uh, go ahead and mute that. Wonderful. It's even a spam risk, so that's perfect. <laughs> Just what everybody wanted. 
I, I do apologize that this was not pre-muted. It should have been. That is entirely my own fault. I am muting it. It is muted. And we can move on. We're 47 in terms of our political power right now. We should definitely begin justifying. Excellent. We're, of course, also going to justify on Pueblo and Tarasco. And we're already at war with Chickasaw. So we're going to be able to push up through pretty much everything up here without too many issues. I'm not sure if Navajo is involved. Not currently. But that's something we can deal with at a later date. I'm not too concerned about that. So we're going to have good supply here quite soon. We're at 170 out of 146. And as you can see, we are starting to push these guys back pretty heavily at this point. Now we're still struggling a little bit with our organization and our supplies. But this should turn around quite soon. Yeah, we're going to have an additional infrastructure finishing up. Very soon, in fact. So that's great. It's currently 5 May 1955. Yeah, so it'll finish up now. And if we check, that brought it to 156. That's actually, that's a ton. That's 10. Okay, our justification on Santiago is complete. So these guys are, of course, going to have their offensive line just be the C. Just push up like that. And then we're going to go ahead and declare on Santiago. Oh no, Brazil might join. Anyway. Okay. And in we go. We will have absolutely no problem crushing this. Fantastic. They're already crumpling. Like, that, that war is over. There's no doubt about that. So Inca has a couple of provinces here, and then Brazil has Balboa, somehow, <laughs> and then Inca has all of this up this way. But then once we get, like, past the Yucatan and into, into Mexico up here, I mean, this is part of Mexico, but once we get up into Mexico up here, okay, they capitulated, then we're going to be fighting Chickasaw and things will get interesting. <laughs> okay, so these guys... I don't know what we want them to do right now. Maybe just area defense? Like, along this coast? Maybe. For now. We'll find something for them to do later on, of course. But for now, that's probably going to be fine. Okay. So we're up to 156 supply over here, of course. And we're currently bottlenecked by infrastructure, which is expected. We are constructing infrastructure in all of these locations, and we'll be done with it quite soon. Of course, we're going to want to start justifying on Pueblo. There we go. We've got the political power to make that happen. And then Tarasco after that. I still expect pushing up through Panama is going to be interesting. That's a lot of Brazilian troops. What do they even have for manpower, considering this is their only province? They have a thousand manpower. Okay. <laughs> what about their uh, deployed infantry? They've got about 20k deployed. Okay. Hey, look at that. So, we've pushed up here. And, of course, our supplies up here are going to be really sketchy. Like, incredibly sketchy. We're not going to have control over construction up here. So we're just going to have to try to power our way through. And it's not going to be... It's not going to be pretty. This is not going to be pretty at all. I mean, maybe we power our way through here super quickly. That would be an ideal scenario, but if this comes down to a grind, it's going to be rough supply-wise. At least until we take additional territory here. If we get pushed back, that's no big deal. 
because our supplies here will be absolutely fine and we'll just be able to resupply, as well as the fact that our general is generally smart enough to pop them back, resupply, and then bring them back to the front. Now I have an unassigned division here and we'll pop that into this guy. Actually, no we won't. We'll pop that into these paratroopers. We may still want to try, try to paradrop behind here, but this is actually going surprisingly well. I mean, we do have some supply flow here. It's less than they have, but we also have a substantially larger number of units here. So all things considered, it's going reasonably well. This is, this is altogether going better than I was expecting up here. Now, there are a fair number of Brazilians in this defense right now, so I'm going to go ahead and activate that intel. Perfect. And I would like to have this guy come over and... Honestly, we don't really need any other ciphers. Maybe we could get started on Chickasaw. Like, I would like to have this guy currently work on building an intel network in Vicksburg. Okay, now that he's started on that, we'll be able to start working on decryption. Okay, how are things going over here? About as expected, honestly. This is really about as expected. We've just got too many units here right now. We may be better off pulling some out of this army group temporarily. Or we may be better off just trying to push in as hard as we can. But our supply level here is 46. And yeah, it's our local infrastructure that's our bottleneck. That was always going to be this bottleneck. I think I'm going to pull two armies out of here. These two here. And I'm going to tell these guys, your current mission is to area defense, like right here. And then your mission is to also area defense, but like right here. So we'll get them out of this supply region, is the idea. Dropping 48 units out of this supply region should help tremendously. Like, they don't have a ridiculous number of troops here. We just need to drop out of this supply limit. There's no way around it. So we're pulling back some of these troops, and we'll put them back in once we actually have control of the supplies in this area. But for right now, I don't think there's any point. They'll get out of there relatively soon. In fact, they should be out... Yeah, they're starting to get out now. Fantastic. So we're now down to 165 required supply. Hmm. 166. It's definitely taking time for these guys to get out of there. I mean, that's to be expected, I suppose. Interestingly, our needed logistics is going up right now. <laughs> Fantastic. We could try to airdrop in. I'm a little concerned about our command power. We do have an attache. That brought us down to 105 out of 46. That might be sufficient. Maybe. I mean, we can wear these guys down. There's no doubt about that. This guy can go ahead and join this force. Excellent. And we could certainly put in a few transport planes here. How many could we afford to get in here? Not a ton, I don't think. But we'll just put in as many as we possibly can. This is what, like 150? Is how many? Okay. And then we'd want to airdrop in over this way. These guys are on close air support, and these guys are set to air superiority. Yeah, that's completely fine. And then we want these guys to be on air supply, and... 
I would like to supply, say, this force. That would be an ideal scenario. We'll see what that requires for command power. When are our planes going to arrive? In just a little while here. Okay, command power. What's this taking? Okay, it's taking 45. I think that's okay. And we should be supplying from this supply zone, which we're perfectly fine in, into this supply zone. So we can see here that we're currently at 51. And we've got a little bit of air supply coming in, I suppose. Not a ton. But that's okay. At least it's some. We've got some air supply on the way in. I do want to check to see... What is our, like, mission efficiency here? We require more supply in the strategic region. Yes, I'm aware. Our mission efficiency is 25%. And the question is... Why? Lacking range to completely cover area. Okay, and rain. Okay. <laughs> I mean, fair enough on the range thing. That is certainly fair enough. That said, you don't have to completely cover the area. All you have to do is cover this province. But I'm not sure the game is smart enough to realize that. At any rate, we're going to continue harrying them over here and just see if we can push through here. I mean, odds are not necessarily in our favor in any of these. But uh, we're going to continue pushing our way up. They're definitely backing off with some of their troops. But they've got plenty of others that they're moving in with. So that is noted. We're 98 out of 153 here. Or, er, 153. Out of 53. <laughs> I sure wish we could construct here. In this province. That would be fantastic if we could. Unfortunately, we can't. So we're just continuing to chip away at our other construction infrastructure-y projects. Oh, hello. We should definitely queue that up. Wonderful. So yeah, this is definitely going to take some time to push in through here. I'm thinking we'll probably end up succeeding, though. Because Brazil really... They're the majority here in terms of who's defending this. And they've got a thousand manpower, right? Like, we know that they have apparently 8 to 12 factories used in military equipment production. Even though they have two military factories in this location. <laughs> and that's the only location that they have, I think. So that's a thing. They may have some off-map ones, so. But we should be able to eventually push through them with sheer attrition. The major concern is the supply in this region. That said, we're already at 58. Which is a pretty big deal. Also, it looks like Free India is looking at potentially cutting off some of their some of their supply flow here, which I'm definitely in favor of. We'll see if they succeed in any of that, and in the meantime, we'll keep the pressure up on the front. We would be able to push through this if it wasn't for that logistic issue there. That's for sure. There are no closer air bases, unfortunately. And looking at these lads, their equip equipment reliability is currently 80%. That's fine. They are, of course, on no retreat. And how much supply are they actually bringing in here? This is saying plus 1.31 currently, which is not very much, although that's mostly because of the mission efficiency. But it's better than nothing. 
We are now up to 60 available supply in this region. So that's good. But we just, we need to crack through this. We could, however, bring our paratroopers up over this way and give them an order to paratroop from here, in theory, over to here. Although I would prefer that we take this location. I'm willing to bet they have troops there. But that would be funny. That would absolutely be funny if they didn't. And also because there's a naval base there, we should be able to supply this. So that's a thing. Okay, this modern tank brigade can hop into this army. This infantry division can come on over here as well. Fantastic. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to see if we can push through Panama. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.